Greetings, YouTube. So I've been playing with an idea. It was kind of, It's a riff off of the wizard video I did a while back about being a 20th level wizard. And I would choose to be a transformer or trans, transmuter. Transformer. A transformer. I want to be a giant truck. Um, the transmuter. And uh, if you're going to be a wizard on Earth, that means you're going to have some limitations to what you can become. However, there may be a way around this slightly. First of all, the spells themselves kind of have a template built into them. And the only version of a transmutation spell that really gets specific is Form of a Dragon, which says you have to have a scale, but it doesn't say how large a piece of scale or how valuable a piece of scale. It just says a piece of scale. Um, and the same thing goes with for the other trans, trans mutation spells, a uh, beast form, plant form, yada yada yada. However, there is the askew material um, feat, which is a benefit. Uh, you can cast any spell with material component ca costing one gold piece or less without needing that component. The casting the spell still revokes an attack of opportunity as normal. If the spell requires a material component that costs more than one gold piece, you must have the material component on hand to cast the spell as normal. Now, if you're talking completely ordinary, everyday animals, that's less than one gold piece for a piece of an animal, like a cat or a dog or a bear or something like that. But I would think it would also go for the bits of even more fantastical creatures simply because you don't need a large part of one. And like Alter Self, you need a piece, but it could be a lock of hair. So it doesn't have to be valuable to still become the functional material component of the spell. So if you were stranded on Earth, would a skew material give you the capacity to turn into an elf or a dwarf or a knoll or something like that? Um, or and of course you have you're gonna you'd have the access to the entire animal kingdom plus it here, and I would allow that as skew material as well. Um, even if you were, if it, if it existed here, I see no reason that you could not just have that feat allow you to take that form. But do you think that is too powerful? Because as it is, the askew material uh, component feat is kind of lame. It isn't often something you jump at. And in fact, I give it away for free to sorcerers. The only caveat is they have to have a focus based on when they became, when their first time their sorcerer powers manifested. So there could be anything. The item could be anything under the sun that would become their focus that was on their person or important to them at that moment when their powers first manifested themselves. Uh, so without that, they are a negative one caster level. That's it. That's the only penalty. But I didn't, because I don't really think that you should have to buy this feat under normal circumstances, because I think it's kind of lame. So I'm trying to expand its power and its scope, but not hugely. Do you think it's too powerful if you in include giants, elementals, and dragons? Or is it acceptable? Because you can find all those elemental aspects here on Earth, just not magical versions you can find ash and stone and 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 you know uh things that are associated with wind and things like that so you can find those things here on earth and you can of course find the entire animal kingdom uh, or do you think there's some things that should be outside the realm that could be granted by the askew material feet this is just i'm just kind of poking around and trying to get ideas here because um, I think that the feat as it is, is underpowered, so I'm kind of making, trying to make it a little bit larger, a little bit more powerful, but I don't want to make it too powerful. Um, and I'm riffing off the idea of being stranded on Earth and needing this kind of a feat that will then allow you to become all kinds of different forms if you were a 20th level transmuter wizard. Yeah, I know, it's a little convoluted, but it's kind of where my brain went, so that's where I am now, here, on this video, talking to you, looking for your advice. Isn't that nice? I'm asking you for advice. So, come on, give me advice. So let's talk about 
trying to make the askew material to be more viable and more attractive, but not so powerful it's a must-have. Because if, if a feat is a must-have, that's often an indication that it's too powerful. Um, unless you're doing a very specific build. If you're doing very specific builds, some feats are must-haves. Um, and other people won't take them because they're not doing that very specific build. But if it's something that like every single spellcaster out there would want to take, that may be a, you've taken it too far. Um, so let's talk about, uh, in this particular case, transmutation magic and askew materials. But askew materials in general, how can you make the feat more attractive without going overboard? But I can tell you one thing I'm not going to need to find. Cat hair. 